<laughs> Kita dong bang. Oh. Okay, episode 187. It's goodbye once a flag is set. Yeah, but that flag of our character. I don't think they would kill Okita. I think his her father is not that innocent. But it seems like there's they they somewhat manipulated her father as well. Oh, he's the one who killed Oh no. That blade. Oh, Kamiyama was the one who killed him. Kita was trying to protect Kamiyama. I guess he is he is somewhat innocent. Because he was forced to be in that situation. Oh. So he knew the girl. I think Hijikata is already
Oh. Oh, Kagura knocked her out. So. Yeah. That's nice, Kagura. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty mature of Kagura for understanding the situation. That she was able to understand that. Um, I guess she she would she would she, she would somewhat understand, especially she has a with the guys. She I guess she somewhat look looks up to her father. Yeah, but that's the thing with the characters in Gintama cannot really tell what they're I guess deep down inside they're they're really kind even though they have a front of being crazy sadistic idiotic but deep Because yeah, I guess her, his sister never knew that the one she was going to marry was a syndicate or something, criminal. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> I think this is the first time we've seen Ogita oh, this desperate, this crazy. I guess this is just the front. <laughs> He's really acting great. It seems like I'm not looking at Ogita. Oh, <laughs> he looks a, a lot a, like like a different character from Gintama they're ruining <laughs> they're ruining the image of uh, of Okita oh no because I think they, they never do this to Okita the only person that usually they do this kind of situation is Kondo Rarely Hijikata or Hasegawa, but <laughs> but I think Okita is the kind of the cool character that I never thought that they would. Unless I think he's he's pretending. But even still, he was <laughs> having that those crazy face. Oh, oh, they're smelling it already. So <laughs> he did he did really sold himself. Get that on my Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but it's working, but man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that that's the worst. Oh man. The combination of vomit and manure. No. Yep. Oh. 
And I guess Gin is enough for. But I think Okita is skilled enough to take care, and they and also Kagura take care of those this this uh this grunts. Yup. Oh, the blood. <laughs> That's the opposite of the usual thing that happens. Oh. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> but a little, a little while ago, <laughs> she was telling <laughs> Ogita to sacrifice himself. is true but knowing Hijikata knowing Kondo their camaraderie I don't think they would I think they would understand the situation But yeah, I think she still needs to know about that. I think it's her, also, her, also her right to know the truth about her. Even though it's de definitely going to be painful. Because I don't think that's... That's that... Um, unacceptable for her daughter because that's sti it's still it's still trying to protect them so even though because the thing is I don't think her being focused on revenge would really make her situation better Whoa, that's so cool. Because <laughs> I don't think it's also a good thing for her. Because she'll just be so... So obsessed with revenge that it might lose her sense of purpose. I guess it's her purpose, but still, that's not really a good way of living. That stands. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Man, they're not censoring anything. Oh, it's so gory. <laughs> I can't believe that they're letting this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, but now he doesn't have a sword. Oh, I guess he has that. Oh, she heard all of those things. Yep. But I think deep down she 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 somewhat knew that there's something wrong. She's that she's looking for an outlet to to burst out all of those I guess regret I guess hate or those feelings of grief oh. <laughs> That's a lot of people. <laughs> I think Hijikata will come. Because Yamazaki told, did, told, did told Hijikata before. Yeah, <laughs> and they're not in their uniforms. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Oh, the camaraderie of not just Shinsengumi. Under are they under suspension? I guess they are. They are. Oh, yeah. I guess they made. They have to make a report for all of those people that they killed. <laughs> I think she she will show up. Yeah, there she is. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, it's a nice art for Okita. And yeah, um, showing a lot more about his character, his yeah, that's what I'm talking. I was talking about before that. Um, Okita is the kind of that person that he has something to protect. But I guess he's trying to protect the innocence of the the younger ones, which is which is really cool that um, he's willing to take the sacrifice of doing the dirty work and I guess trying to take the blame instead. So that's what that's uh that's somewhat uh, selfless of him. And yeah, it's and he also protected his subordinate who made a mistake on that situation that he was willing to risk his his um his job in order to protect uh that person. So yeah, I guess I was wrong to uh, be suspicious but I guess it, it makes sense because he's the only one who was uh, around then but I think but yeah I, I think Okita Okita is also somewhat would suspect him at the same time if that's, that, if that's really the case but so I guess it was the other way that it was really Okita who wanted to uh, to hide those events from anyone to, from anyone learning about that because he wouldn't want his subordinate to um to be I guess to be removed for, from the Shinsengumi or just be I'm I'm, not sure, I'm still not sure what is the punishment for that. But yeah and but the crazy thing is that um Kiri's father um was even though he's 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 he has been involved in that, he was still trying to protect her family and yeah, um, but I guess uh, Okita did feel the responsibility of protecting the the mother and the daughter. So, because otherwise, yeah, the what is it called again, the 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 sake of action would still go after the the daughter and the 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 wife of. And yeah, and. Okita is willing to sacrifice his reputation, his life, just to protect that girl and her mother. And I guess he had that responsibility, sense of responsibility, and I guess burden, because uh, Kiriyama killed. I guess he, I guess he didn't accidentally kill the father. He was trying to protect himself, so he's still he's still in the clear with regards. It's still self defense. But I guess the guilt of killing that person that has been, because um, he was he was uh, trying to calm the father. He was saying that it's okay. We already killed all all of the other, uh, say what is sake of action, Sokai faction. So it's okay now. You don't have to, to get involved. So they knew uh, Okita and Kiriyama knew that this guy was just being, um threatened or controlled or blackmailed by this organization so they were trying to protect him but yeah i i understand kiriyama because it's 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 him or the father so i think he he did um under the rules or i guess of engagement or something like that i think he he has a uh, an excuse to do that because he he was going to be stabbed by Kiria's father. So, I guess he still has the fear of that because of him participating with the Shinsengumi, her daughter and wife will be killed. So, that's why he, um, Okita had the responsibility to make it so that uh, they killed all of those people on that. Um, and I think uh, Okita... It, be, uh, even after that, I think Okita has already suffered um, so maybe suspension or punishment after doing that. And and then he still has the... He still took the burden of being a threat, being under the threat of being killed of the, by the daughter. But I don't think he would... He would um, suspect the daughter would go to, to, to that length. But I think he has that in mind, so... That's why I guess, and I think, um, especially he knew that the daughter. So that's why when he when she stabbed 
him. So he he was prepared. He has uh, tabas. Was it Tabasco? Because otherwise, if he let it happen, um, him protecting the innocence of that girl would have been uh, worthless. Because he would she would just become a a murderer of a a, a police or shinsengumi. So yeah, um, another awesome character. I guess is it character development or just character internal character reveal. Or yeah, something like that. That for us to understand a bit, a lot. More. I guess ta- it is character development. A lot more about Okita's internal, I guess internal motives. His what he what is his um his uh his code of honor. I guess something like that. His way of a samurai. What is he trying to put to protect? What is he um. Is willing to give up his life for the same way as Gin, is uh, has the same kind of uh, responsibility towards protecting Kagura and Shinpachi and everyone else. His every every friends that he had. So yeah, um, which shows a uh, 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 an awesome awesome uh, honor code of the samurai. I guess the 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 samurai in this era of. Uh, the modern Edo, the the they are the new these are the new kind of samurais that um, has a instead of a lord, is I think that's the the thing with the traditional samurai is that they have a lord that they they have they 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 followed to their heart their 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 honor that I think that's the that's the same way that they're trying to express in this arc which is really uh, really cool and really wholesome uh, even though it was <laughs> it was really bloody and brutal in this episode so yeah but the thing is that um i'm still not sure with regards to the censorship of uh, of japan with regards to this in television especially shonen i would understand if this is somewhat some kind of uh, a more mature kind of show in a different kind of because uh, I think uh, shonen usually I guess you, you cannot really say I guess it, it depends on the country with regards to the censorship because here in uh, the Philippines uh, I don't think usually they they try to blur those kinds of bloody or gory just that slicing or just that um, blood or just the the killing definitely they would cut off that parts if that was showed uh, in the tele- in the television but yeah um, but still that was really <laughs> uh, really awesome and yeah uh, that's what uh, I love to see especially in uh, samurai kind of movies or animes so because that's what that make, that what that I think that's what makes it a lot more um, brutal a lot more uh, you could feel the tension a, a lot more with those. You could feel the 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 ruggedness or something like that with the uh, with the samurai era. With the because because if you've seen um, the other samurai animes, they're really they're really brutal with regards to um, with katana with samurais. So, but I guess um, they're not that much kind of gore compared to the other animes that I've watched, samurai anime that I've watched. But still, that's still a lot of blood, a lot of <laughs> killings that they've done in this episode. And yeah, they they did they, they did they did it before with Benizakura, Shinsengumi. So yeah, uh, I just just it's just that seeing it again after all those uh crazy. Um, wholesome episodes of Gintama uh, really somewhat um, feels like a different uh, anime whenever they do that and yeah that, 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 the tone of this arc definitely is uh, has that vibe and I thought that they were going to be that, that I was kind of confused at the beginning when they were <laughs> with their approach and yeah so they did it's, it's, I'm really glad that they they uh, they did this uh, another serious arc 
and that sh- the show the show that showcased uh, Mokita's character a lot more. So yeah, a uh, very very interesting arc, and I guess it somewhat also um, dealt with the issue of the Shinsengumi, the the responsibility of the Shinsengumi killing um, the criminals. So they, I think they still have that guilt. Yeah, those are my thoughts on this episode and in this arc. Um, if you would like to share yours, just leave it in the comments down below. And um, if you did enjoy watching my reaction, please like this video and subscribe if this is your first time here so you'll be updated whenever I upload my reaction videos. And if you want to watch my reaction in the next episode, it is available now on Patreon. Just go to the link in the description down below. And if you want to request an anime that is not part of my anime reaction right now, you could also do that on my patreon and it will support this channel and help me create more reaction videos like this in the future so thank you again for watching see you in my next video have a great day goodbye